Hello everyone, I am Sky J and welcome to What's the Word Wednesday. Sorry I've been gone. I um, I relocated and so I've been kind of busy trying to get settled in and everything, but I am back so I'm glad to see you guys. I'm just going to read a few scriptures for you. Um, today's topic is going to be on fearing God and I'm reading from this Bible promise book for women. It's a devotional book and a prayer book. So just read a little bit of this for you guys today. All right, it talks about fearing God. Um, in the beginning, it says, aren't we supposed to trust, not fear the Lord? Fear isn't of God, right? In the following verses, we discover the definition of fearing God, and it's not what some people might think. The word fear is derived from the Greek word eulabeia, signifying the caution, signifying caution and reverence. When a godly fear and love are combined, they constitute a heartfelt devotion toward God. To fear the Lord is to reverence, love, respect, and honor Him. There's nothing scary about that. So when the Bible talks about fearing the God, fearing God, it's not saying that we should be afraid of God, but that we should use caution. And you know, say you might be going to do something that you know you shouldn't do, or that might land you in some trouble. When you think in your head, hmm, this might land me in some trouble, that thought is God. And, you know, you're just being conscious. You have a guilty conscience. And that's a good thing because that's that's what God wants, that kind of fear. But not to be afraid that he's going to punish us or hurt us or, or anything like that. Because real love is not so, anything to be afraid of. God's love is amazing. And so, yeah. Lord, I want my, okay, that's a little prayer. Lord, I want my heart to continually be filled with praise and thanksgiving to you. Keep me anchored in the thought that all you do is for my good and glory. Only you are deserving of my praise and adoration. Amen. So I'll read just a few scriptures here. Matthew 10, 28. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and the body in hell. Exodus 18, 21. Moreover, you shall select from all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. So this is saying that People who have the fear of God in their heart are rulers and they're going to bring a lot of people closer to God. Okay, in Proverbs 1, 7, fear of the Lord is the foundation of truth and of true knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and discipline. So fools don't want to hear what the word of God has to say. It actually makes them upset. And sometimes they can't look a person in the eye when they're speaking truth because it hurts. Just like they say, truth hurts. All right. Psalms 34, 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Okay. We'll say another prayer. Precious Father, on my own, I am bound to fail. Now that I have put my trust in you, I cannot fail for you are always the victor, and this knowledge makes me strong where once I was weak. Amen. All right, and the final scripture that I'll close out with is from 2 Corinthians 7, 1. It says, because we have these promises, dear friends, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that can defile our body or spirit, and let us work toward complete holiness because we fear God. Amen. And I'll just say a, a prayer really quick before we close. God, I just want to thank you. You can close your eyes if you want. I'm going to close my eyes. Lord, I just want to thank you for this moment and time to minister to your people, God. Thank you for bringing me back. And I, I just love that I have this opportunity to let people hear your word. God, um, may we continue to fear you, Lord and everything and make sure that we put you first before we make decisions throughout our day god we pray that you guide us 
Lord, we don't want to do anything without you. So we trust that you are here with us and we trust that you will keep us safe, strong, loved, pr protected, and holy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.